Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Majingo.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use the web inspector on mobile Safari so we can inspect sites running on our iOS device from our laptop. So to do that, the first thing we need is a laptop running Mac OS X. We also need a lightning cable for our iOS device. And of course, the device itself. So I've got my iPhone 6 Plus here, and we'll connect that up, and then I'll show you how to configure it so it can work. Okay, so now I have my device connected, and should note that it has to be a lightning cable, so it has to be uh, the new cable, not the 30 pin that is, uh, for example, on my older iPad that I have. So make sure you have a, a, a device with a lightning cable. Um, this will make it a little bit harder if you have some sort of testing lab with a lot of devices. Uh, but there are other options out there uh, instead of this one. And this one is specific to mobile Safari, but uh, pretty cool, very handy. You can do the same thing with Chrome, but I believe it requires an Android device, like this one requires an iOS device, unfortunately. All right, so uh, let's do a, a couple setup. First thing is we're gonna set up something on the laptop, and then we'll set up something on the phone. So on the laptop first, I have Safari open, going to go into the preferences and under the advanced tab, there is a checkbox all the way at the bottom called show develop menu in menu bar. Now you probably have this enabled. Uh, if you're a web developer, or web designer, I usually have it enabled as well, but just in case you don't, we need to make sure that is checked and enabled. All right, the next thing is over here on the device. Um, we need to enable develop mode on the device as well. And we do that by going into settings and you want to find the settings for Safari and then go all the way to the bottom to advanced. And under advanced, the last option is web inspector. And this will allow us to talk to the device from the laptop by enabling it. All right, so with that enabled, Let's go back to mobile Safari. So back on my laptop, you can see we have this develop menu because we enabled it in Safari here on the laptop. And now I have two devices, this device uh, here, my laptop, and then my phone. And you can see that it's showing Safari and the site that I'm on. This is Happy Logger, which is a sample site um, by the folks at Pixel and Tonic who make the Crafts CMS. Uh, it's one of the sample sites that I use in one of my courses. But you can see when I hover over the address on my device, it uh, shows that I am inspecting it. So let's choose it. And that's going to pop open a web inspector window. With the web inspector, I have all the developer tools at my disposal, but instead of using them for Safari on my Mac, I can use them to inspect Safari on iOS. So what can we do here? Well, we can do all the normal stuff. You can see I can hover over the elements and those elements get selected on my device. Let me dig in here to this image. If we go up to the header, we can dig in a little bit more and you can see we can get into the logo. Here's the navigation. So let's say I wanted to experiment with removing the navigation, I could do that. And I can also open up uh, the inspector here to see some styles for uh, this. And uh, you know we can do all sorts of stuff on it. You can even add in stuff like that, add more padding so it uh, looks right. So we can really do what we always you know, could do right on the Mac, but we can do it right on our device. So great way if you're trying to troubleshoot uh, something specific to this device, um, whether that's a, a web app or a web page design that maybe isn't looking right or acting right, or maybe you have problems. We can also do performance things as well. Uh, we can go to the network tab and reload, and this reload button will reload the page on the device. And we can start to inspect uh, the, the resources that we have. We can go to the resources tab, of course, and see there as well. Timelines, if we wanted to do that. Uh, debugger, if we wanted to. 
storage to look at cookies, and of course console for any error messages. So as you can see, we have all of the capability here, but instead of doing it on the Mac, we can do it right on the device. One of the things I like is it's very easy and quick to run a uh, performance test, maybe to get the page weight or the fully loaded time or the number of resources. Um, you know, since this is responsive, it should be similar to what we are seeing on our uh, laptop. However, uh, we can also do it, uh, we can disable, let's say, uh, Wi-Fi, be on the cellular network, and then run some tests that way as well. So there's lots of great things that you can do by connecting your iPhone or your iOS device to your OS X machine, turning on develop on the iOS device in Safari, turning on the develop menu in Safari on your Mac, and then inspecting the browser right from your Mac. Very handy, might not be something that you use a lot, but when you need it, you'll be glad to have it. Thanks a lot for watching this lesson. I'm Ryan Ireland from Majingo. Check out all of our courses at majingo.com learn, and we'll see you next time.